really All right. Me. So <laughs> here we are. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking <laughs> mute this while this goes in the I'm background, fine. right? So here we are. I could have live streamed this if I wanted to, but fucking I I rather not right now, honestly. So we are about 18 minutes away from Nintendo's Direct, which I. I'm not sure if this was an announced thing. I think it was like speculated that they'll have a direct, but at the end of the day, I don't know why people speculate on this because they have a direct like almost every month or every other month. So there's nothing new there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know they were going to have a direct until literally today and they're going to be starting real soon. So that's entertaining. I don't expect a lot from this direct, right? There's always this fucking... I, I have to point this out because it pisses me off. Like, it pisses me off, but not seriously pisses me off. It's just more of annoying. There's always a bunch of people here in the fucking uh, YouTube chat when it comes to announcement. And they all just say, like, the most randomest shit ever. That's like, come on, guys. You guys... What the fuck is this? What the hell is wrong? You see this shit? It's like, this is what people do. Like, be normal for once. <laughs> and that's coming from me, the weirdest guy ever. But, like, you know, okay, that's kind of fucked up. What's that about? But, um, yeah, there's just people that always say, like, the dumbest shit. That's like, Half-Life 3 confirmed, uh, fucking put, put Sora in Smash. I swear to God, if I see Sora in Smash Brothers, I will throw my fucking PC out. And I'll never upload anything ever again. I love Kingdom Hearts. I hate the Kingdom Hearts community hate it to god anyways um and i don't even believe in god <laughs> i shouldn't say that should i do i believe in god i don't know i believe in him don't believe in him whatever let's not talk about that dig this hole deeper for myself so um yeah they're doing nintendo direct today i think it's probably going to be around like 30 25 minutes that's usually around the time that they have this stuff for um maybe there are some kids screaming in my background this is why I'm not live streaming this. Uh, so maybe they'll have, you know, some hot new announcements. It is, it is September, towards the end of September. Um, I'm still kind of crossing my fingers for something else that they can do with Zelda, right? I'm not expecting anything from Breath of the Wild 2. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't even care about Breath of the Wild 2. Um, I, Breath of the Wild was fun, but I didn't really like it as much as other people did. And, you know, Skyward Sword HD came out recently. I didn't buy that yet. I'll buy it at some point. But um, I haven't really been playing my Switch for a while now. Not because I don't like my Switch, just because I haven't really... I haven't even been buying games, to be honest. I've just been, like, going through a bunch of back catalog stuff. And, you know, and, like, streaming. We just finished Danganronpa V3 on Twitch, so that was very fun. Uh, I'm getting ready for Halloween stuff, you know, getting, uh, some art made and stuff like that, but enough about me, <laughs> right? Um, we're also doing Psychonauts 2, I gotta finish that, I'm close to finishing it, I just need to play it more, but, um, what the hell am I going at here? Yeah, Nintendo Direct, we might get a Smash Brothers announcement if we do. I mean, there's only one character left, I think. So, you know, right off the bat, I'm just going to say it. No, I don't want Sora. No, I don't want Doom Guy. No, I don't want Halo fucking Master Chief from Halo. It's just the most boring fucking picks ever. Like, give me someone interesting, right? Yes, of course, I'm going to say Geno. I would love Geno. Everyone would love Geno, but I actually do like Geno. So, uh, I'm not just saying it for, like, a meme or anything like that. Shantae's not getting in. She's a fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> a me character, right? We can sit here and talk all day about, um, Smash Brothers announcements and stuff like that. And I kind of don't want to do that, <laughs> right? I thought this would be the Smash that Phoenix Wright might get in. Not because, not because I like Phoenix Wright, just because I think it was, like, a strong enough pick, right? Has a pretty long history with Nintendo, but, you know. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm not really going to go crazy uh, over it. I'm not going to fucking lose sleep over it. But, um, yeah. 
other announcements i assume they'll probably announce like a new ip or something like that probably a port here and there like another wii u port um they'll probably reiterate on i have i was wondering what the fuck that noise was my tv <laughs> i have a game on in the background on my tv and i didn't mute my tv that's what was happening um so you know i expect them maybe announce like one or two new ips nothing too crazy nothing like triple a in your face or nothing like that they'll probably reiterate on some recent releases or upcoming releases uh they'll probably double down on on uh fatal frame 5 because that finally got out of wii u hell right that was stuck on the eShop on wii u only for the longest time and now it's you know now it's coming to the switch which i've been axing for fucking years because don't let fatal frame die please please god do not let it die um but yeah other things probably uh i don't think we'll get anything pokemon related if we do it'll probably be like some little small thing or something like that uh, I don't think we'll see any big announcements here. I really don't. Just kind of like an upkeep. I feel like they would save their big announcements for around November. If they do, the biggest announcements they can probably have here is just something with Zelda. Maybe the maybe a Twilight Princess port and Wind Waker port. That's all I really ask for. Um, other than that, I would like to see Xenoblade Chronicles X get ported. Um, there's still a few Wii U games that need to come over to the Switch. That's one of them, right? And we already got Tokyo Mirage Session FE, so that's fun. Um, yeah, I just don't... I don't think we'll see too much here, really. Nothing nothing mind-blowing. I don't expect it, but... You know, unless there's a Smash Brothers announcement. There's a lot of children in my house right now. So, you know... That's kind of it for predictions, real quick. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna see you guys in, like you know, the 11 minutes that we have here, 11 and a half minutes that we have here. And once the stream starts, once the direct starts, we'll, uh, we'll watch it together. We'll have fun with that. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Right off the bat. What is this? Some monster hunter shit? Yep. There he is. There he is. The Rathalos. Capcom presents. They're finally updating uh, Rise. There's a reason why I didn't buy Rise. I heard that the game. I heard the game. The game's finished, but I heard that it ends like it's not finished. Look at this Castlevania shit. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. That is a good title. That is a good subtitle. Sunbreaker. Sunbreaker. Oh, next year. I thought it would come out in October. This looks like it'll be perfect for October. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi. Hi, Koizumi. For Let me just make sure that the uh volumes all the way up you just saw was the first trailer for monster hunter rise sunbreak the massive expansion for monster hunter rise okay it looks great our friends at capcom are working on many new elements that will enhance the experience for players of monster hunter rise including new stories locales monsters and although not touched on in the trailer new hunting actions and quest rank new hunting actions what about a new weapon Monster Hunter that'll be fun Sunbreak. they probably won't right DLC in summer <laughs> can't be a new weapon we can't have that please stay tuned for more information in the future all right let's see our first batch of nintendo switch headlines party during the day or at night i like to party at night i'm a party guy party in the mario party superstars game along with spaceland and peach's birthday cake several other boards make their return take a stroll around they said hey guys i got a fucking amazing idea what if we made mario party like the older ones you know the ones people like Toadette's got the star. It's a crazy and idea, right? With Bowser at the last second. Party day Toadette should have been replaced with Bowser. 
That King Boo statue is harmless during the day, but at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame only courses. Compete against players worldwide for the longest win streak in survival. Or longest work win streak. In the okay. Multiplayer tag match. Mount Minigames will have seven courses available. All boards and minigames support online play. So invite family, friends, and frenemies and get ready. Oh, look how happy that tree is. I'm just waiting for Kirby to come and kick its Mario shit in. Party Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Free October 29th? Before Switch. Halloween? A new huh. RPG is in the cards. Oh my god, new RPG. Welcome to Voice of Cards. Fuck the Voice of Cards. Listen to this music. Holy shit. Look at that anime, boy. Don't you just want to salt and pepper that motherfucker? Eat him up? <laughs> Look at that anime girl. Don't you want to salt and pepper her up? On a fantastical journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Everything in this realm is for honor and fortune, but not for glory. Protagonists to shops, towns. Okay, it's a card-based RPG. On tabletop RPGs. Okay. You'll square off in turn-based card battles where your skills and a little bit of luck. I'm not sure how I feel about it to be honest. It seems cool, but at the same time it seems pretty bare. But the music is fucking great though. A spellbinding experience from the creative mind. Frightened girl, she don't look frightened. Look at her. She looks like she's about to beat my ass. Frightened girl, nothing. Voice of Cards, the Isle Dragon Roars launches on Nintendo Okay, that's Switch cool. It's Square Enix, Enix game. Oh shit! Free demo will be available today on Nintendo Free demo. Switch. Okay, I'll look at that. I'll check that out. It's been a while since I booted up the Switch. A hero hey, Disco Elysium. <laughs> Disco Elysium's fucking great. You awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revachol, devoid of your memories. Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role-playing adventure, Disco Elysium, The Final Cut. As you interrogate people and uncover clues, internal dialogues will begin. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. The 24 skills, quote-unquote. <laughs> the help, quote-unquote. ...how you develop these skills, directly impacting how the story progresses. What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium. The he tries to punch a kid. <laughs> on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The physical version of the game will launch early 2022. Oh, wow. For the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay, Disco Elysium out there doing it. And it's not even that expensive of a, of a game. Warriors, Age of Calamity. Really? This game's been out for a year, right? Am I wrong about that? And now it's getting an expansion? Has it been out for a year? I could have sworn it came out last November. Either that or it came out like early this year, like February or something. They are really... They're really doing a lot <laughs> for, uh, for Breath of the Wild. It seems I owe him as well. The King of Hyrule must not fall! You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? Whose fucking voice was that? That was kind of weird. We should uh, partner up on this, don't you think? <laughs> they are doing a lot with Breath of the Wild. It's just a shame that I, I really don't like Breath of the Wild that much, you know? I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but like, it's definitely not my cup of tea, I'll tell you that for sure. He's basically Zant. <laughs> He's basically Zant. Okay. Ready, oh. Set, 
Chocobo. I forgot about this game. Start your engine. They announced this like uh racing experience. They announced this what like a month ago or something? Chocobo in Gilgamesh to be the first across the finish line. Race as VV and then just die at the end because your life goes by so fast. Magical stones called magicites are contained inside items. Collect these throughout courses. So Square Enix was like, we can do a fucking Mario Kart. <laughs> Let's do it. Acquire magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. Each racer also has a special ability. Use it at the right time to turn the tables. Engine customization options will be available, as well as local and online multiplayer. Okay. It looks a little bare, not gonna Up lie, to but... players can compete in a bracket-style tournament to determine the racing champion. Up to 64 Chocobo players? GT what the fuck? exclusively onto Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. What did you That's think? interesting. Before we show you our next video, we have some news about the last fight. Oh my fucking Super god. Super You're going to announce the announcement, aren't you? Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. He's like, we're going to announce the announcement of the announcement. <laughs> so please look forward to it. Please <laughs> be excited. It's been about look forward since the game was released. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Did you say it's been about a year since the game was released? Are you fucking what? The game's not like one year old, it's like two years old. Three years old, maybe. Is this Shimagami Tensei? Or... What is this? This can't be Shimagami... No, this isn't Shimagami Tensei. There's too much greenery around. Tokyo Jungle? <laughs> a new Tokyo Jungle? Is this Mario? This is Mario, isn't it? It's Mario, I'm calling it. Final guess, it's Mario. <gasps> ah! It's Kirby! Kirby's 3D game! Please be 3D. You guys have been talking about this game for like five years now. Little Poyo boy. We love him. You know what? I should have I should have guessed Kirby. Yep, it's 3D. I should have guessed Kirby because the Forgotten Land. Get the fuck out of here. This is Shiver Star. <laughs> the moment you see hum the moment you see fucking humanity is dead, you should automatically guess Kirby. Kirby, this happy little fluff ball that's like the fucking destructor of the world of the universe. They are doing a lot to show zero combat right now. Come on, show some combat. Alright. Okay. I'm assuming his, uh... His glide... Not his glide, what it's called. His, like, flying ability is going to be... Very limited. There you go. There you go. Oh shit, okay. Spike's looking nice. Ice power seems different from fire. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. It should say Kirby in the fucked up earth. Kirby after quarantine. <laughs> Spring 2022. Okay. Alright. I'm happy. That was the trailer for Kirby you know what? It's been so long since they said anything about that Kirby game that I completely forgot game, you can that they were even working on it. Areas using familiar Kirby moves. Yeah, but they the definitely like talked about this like fucking f around five years ago. They're like, yeah, we're working on a new character action Kirby game. It's going to be like a big step in the series and stuff like that. So it's the it's the Mario Odyssey of Kirby. That's what's we going on right now. To Kirby's new adventure. Next, we have this to show you. Please take a look. All right. A new IP? What do we got? Oh, 
Animal Crossing update. Hey, Brewster's around. Yeah. Fucking Brewster's here, man. Tell that motherfucking pigeon to make my coffee, you little bitch. More details coming in October. But Brewster's back. Okay. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. New free content will arrive in November. That cafe looks fucking wonderful. Release, Look at we that. Will be an Animal Crossing New Horizons I need to go back to October. Animal Crossing. In I haven't played it in a long time. Last time I booted it up was just to like kind of fix some things up. Please be on the lookout for the But I haven't been actively playing Animal Crossing in like months. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay. Time for uh lesser things. <laughs> Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. Okay. Two games, one game update. Oh. More free content is coming to the Mario Golf Super Rescue. I heard Mario Golf was okay. I heard people liked it. Enters the fairway as a playable character. Some people said it was uh worse or better than fucking uh aces. I think most people think it was better. Ninji. Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. Who the fuck is Ninji? Two courses are also being added. Okay, that looks cool. These additions will come swinging Yeah, I didn't buy Mario Golf. I wasn't that interested in it, but you know, it looks like a really good game for people who care about it. <gasps> What's this? An invitation for Smash You're Brothers. <laughs> to live in a magical world with Mickey Mouse and Damn it. Of I got characters. I got excited for a moment cuz I was like, are they doing Spend another Castle of Illusion? Friends. That would be so fucking awesome. And furniture. Castle Illusion is great. Disney themed worlds. They like there's All Castle of Illusion that was on the NES and then there was um I think it was on the NES, right? Disney I believe it also had like a Sega version. Um and then there was the remake of Ca not remake. A uh, remaster, I guess of Cas No, it was a remake of Castle of Illusion. On um on fucking uh PS3 and Xbox. Will you use the force for good? Or will you be lured to the dark side? Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star okay. Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So KOTOR is coming over to November Nintendo Switch, Switch, which is good. Begin today on which Nintendo is good. Shop. It's nice to have this before they put out the um the remake for KOTOR. There's one thing you must always remember. Dying Light 2, Stay didn't that you. just get fucking delayed? Stop this showing me tra Dying Light 2 is Imagine the new death loop. In which they're like, hey, did you did you hear about this shit? In the cloud version of Dying Light 2, stay human. Cloud version. Master both parkour and tactical combat to survive in, this in the cloud version. Action RPG. What? Explore alone, or with up to three other so you're gonna be streaming this onto your Nintendo Switch? What the fuck? Secrets of those in power during the day, then plunder the layers of the infected at night. I feel like Dying Light 2 is not even going to be that good of a game, to be honest. Because the first Dying Light was like, it was fun, but it was it was still kind of mediocre. Right? While you're at it, take the prequel on the go. I think it was the DLC that made like uh, the first Dying Light really good. And face hordes of the infected in a post-apocalyptic open world. Dying Light 2, Stay Human, Cloud Version. Launches on Nintendo Cloud Switch version. February 4th, 2022. Yeah, because they delayed the Free shit out of this game again. The same day on Nintendo eShop. Dying Light Platinum Edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Utility, morality, or liberty. This game looks familiar. I don't remember strategy, what it is. Oh, triangle. Fuck, dude. In stunning HD 2D. Triangle strategy. <laughs> I forgot about this. Will lead you through a riveting story that changes based on the decision. Is triangle made. strategy the same as salt and iron? Right? Where will your conviction guide you? That was that that you what that game was called? Salt and iron? Place I cannot follow. In response to the survey about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty. That should always be number one. See, the the fact that they have to make adjustments to difficulty is kind of shocking to me, to be honest. 
Because that should be like the first thing and that you focus on, right? And One times. of the first things. Game flow and load times, yeah, of course. More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Oh my God! Splendid. Triangle strategy will launch. That on looks Nintendo amazing. Switch, March fourth, twenty twenty. That looks great. This this Gaia game should fucking begin go towards this direction. To be honest. Metroid Dread is coming out in October. What is it? October fifth or twelfth? It's like a sequel to Metroid Fusion, I think. You are faced with overwhelming power. Your highest priority should be simply to survive. This game looks fucking slick as shit. I'm not even that big of a Metroid fan, to be honest. Like. I, I've only played Super Metroid and like fucking Metroid Fusion. I have not played any of the Prime games. Nuh uh. Not because I don't like it, just because fucking. I just never did, right? Okay. Oh, look at that badass. I love how the music is more on the side of like this bombastic uh, action score, I guess. Meanwhile, Sam, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. Her objectives confirm whether the deadly X parasite still exists and figure out what <coughs> Sorry, I had to stop talking. I didn't I didn't want to talk over this. Damn it. I heard voice acting and I got excited, so I stopped talking. Um, okay. ZDR is divided into multiple environments. This looks really nice. With its own elements and organisms, remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. Ooh, we get to learn more about the Chozo. That's nice. Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Be sure to view the other Metroid Dread Reports there as well. You'll want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Man, that's really interesting. Metroid Dread launches on October Nintendo 8th. Switch October 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Ooh. Metroid Dread, looking nice. How was that? Yeah, but the score Up is, uh... We have news the score is, like, Nintendo more Switch bombastic online. rather than, like, the older, Many um... Been using Nintendo Switch Metroid online. games where, like, the soundtrack would be more, like, sci-fi and fucking, like, this space odyssey to feel to it. We'll be adding a new membership plan. As a part of this new plan's content... What do you get? Hey, we're bringing back Virtual Console? You'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. Only just a collection? Damn it. The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. There's Star Fox. Many players their first 3D Little gaming barrel. experiences. <laughs> as well as intense... Mario Kart 64. The night Nintendo spent Switch, up to four <laughs> in my childhood <laughs> getting mad at that game. <laughs> oh, man. Play online with up to four players on that. So Mario Kart 64 online? Plan. Fuck yeah. In addition to the Nintendo 64 games. Oh my god, what? For real? You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. Okay. Dude, that's awesome. You'll be able to play these classic Who the fuck wants to play Echo the Dolphin? Who the fuck wants the to play Echo the Dolphin? All elements of the base For real. Do you want me to have nightmares? As well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo okay, Switch I, Online. Okay, I like what they're now. doing, but at the same time, there's this still no reason for them to get rid of the virtual control. console. Because they don't update this shit. Of course, like enough, they don't update it enough to warrant like half the things that you have here, right? Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. 
Like when they released the Fire Emblem uh, game, like the first Fire Emblem game, like officially translated, fucking people went and bought that shit. It was only like five now, bucks, however, right? Like to the game so I don't we'll get why they can't just do a virtual console. You'll be able to play the Nintendo 64 game shown here. That's it? Those are the only games you're showing? As well the as only games that we get? Ristar? Ristar? Okay. Pokemon Snap? Alright, listen, you got me. Kirby 64, you got me. Paper Mario, you got me. Banjo Kazooie? We've prepared Nintendo All right, and listen. Controllers to ensure They've the been saying for years that they would add more to the Nintendo Online stuff, which they fucking failed to deliver on, to be honest. But, Both can be used listen, you guys, you guys, These controllers will be available you have to, no, come on, bro. 50 bucks for that? Come on. That's, that's stupid. We hope you'll look forward to but you best believe I'm gonna buy that fucking N64 one. But 50 bucks? Come on. They do not need to be 50 bucks. Stop playing yourself. Stop upping the prices on that shit. There's plenty to play in these collections. You could have sold those things for forty dollars. They do not need to be fifty bucks. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. This As looks a nice. Mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back. This to is life. a collection? Immersive branching narratives. How have I not seen this game before? And gripping turn-based tactical combat. This looks really good. Holy trade. shit. Launching on Nintendo Switch next Wait, year. what is it? This said there's a shadow run? The perpetual struggle against hey, the advanced collection. Uh, Fuck yeah. Advanced collection brings together That's the one with the two brothers. And then there's fucking Ari of Sorrow, right? Epic music. The rewind, quick save, and button mapping Oh my god, yeah, look at this shit. Your fight against evil. All regional versions of each game, as well as a gallery mode with never before seen. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, I've been recently going through uh, the Castlevania collections and stuff. Today. Fucking Castlevania is dope as shit. I mean, it's always been good, but still. Fire Emblem? This isn't Fire Emblem. What is this? The classic Super NES game Fillmore. Actraiser returns on Nintendo Switch. Now I don't know what this is. HD. As I never played this. I never even knew God. this existed. Only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra, the Lord of Dark. You'll wage war in two phases. This looks great. First, strike down monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master swordsmanship and magic to vanquish all who stand in your path. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. It's up to you to decide which structure will be destroyed. I didn't even know this game existed. Creating a this is a classic? <laughs> I believe you it, so, you know? Your powers will increase, giving you an edge in both phases. This looks cool. Alternate between the original and rearranged versions of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. I'm pretty sure this is a new big pick for, like, boss battles people who know more than me, right? Act Razor Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Act Switch Razor. later today. Oh, shit. It comes out today? Fuck, that's good. A new chapter is Delta Ruin? Is it Delta Ruin? Yeah, okay. Because Chapter 2 just came out. I haven't seen it, but what the fuck? <laughs> what? It's the dog. I don't want to look at the trailer. I'm going to close my eyes. Wait till it's over. I'm not looking at the trailer. I want it to be a surprise when I play this. Yeah, but um, Chapter 2 came out, like, earlier this week. Like, and... <laughs> Like, at the beginning of one of my streams, I said, hold up, wait a minute, I just saw something get announced. Delta Ruins out. What the fuck? Yeah, but apparently Toby Fox was like, uh, Delta Ruin 2 is free, but, um, chapter 3, 4, and 5 will come out all together, and you'll have to pay for it, and it's gonna be, it's gonna cost more than Undertale, which, I mean, yeah, of course, get your fucking money, dude. Alright, I'm opening my eyes again. I just saw fucking. I just saw Ruin Factory, I think. <laughs> Time to get hype again. It's time for them to have their little sizzle reel. 
Okay, well, so far, it's been nice. It's been pleasant. SMT5, pre-order today. SMT's looking nice. I've been uh, going back and playing some Nocturne just to get, like, somewhat of a refresher because it's been so long since I ever touched Nocturne, right? I've been doing that, and I've been playing SMT4. I've never, uh... I played SMT4 before, but I've never beaten it. Rune Factory 5! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Look at that! I waited seven years for that shit! Everything. I said seven years, but now it's like, what? It was announced in 2015, I think? Oh, Miyamoto no, it wasn't announced 2015. What, what am I saying? When was it announced? It was announced, um, 2020? 2019? I don't know. It's been a while, but... Room Factory, we need that. that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination. Damn, Miyamoto. And producer Chris Quarantine Duncan, has aged you, like, really badly. <laughs> it aged all of us really badly. That man is getting a lot of salt up there. He's really gray. Holy shit. Ta-da! What is it, the Mario movie? in theaters in holiday 2022. This is for the, the Mario movie? For North America is on December 21st and will be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later timing. It'll be a while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. They said we're trying it again, guys. Reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends. English voice actors. Okay. Oh my first, fucking course, god. Mario, what? Chris Pratt as Mario. What? <laughs> Mario oh, this is going to be stupid. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. This is going to be stupid. Next, Princess Peach oh, will be man. played by Anya Taylor Joy. Okay. I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess. That's Peach. a decent pick. Mario's Charlie brother, Day. Will be oh my God. Charlie Day. I'm excited Who's Bowser? Who's Bowser? Tell me it's Ryan Reynolds. Please God, tell me it's Ryan Reynolds. <gasps> Jack Prince Black, even better. <laughs> I'm expecting a monster Dude, performance what? by Jackson. Just getting off of a uh, oh my what fucking mean, god, like what? Playing Toad. I'm looking forward to great comedic moments. He is playing Toad? Even though this is a Mario Seth game, Rogen's Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong? <laughs> yeah. He will be played by Seth Rogen. I'm eager. Where's Ryan Reynolds? Come on, you just got to throw him in there. Where is he? And of course, Charlie's Montana. Who has voiced Charles Mario Martin. and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years is also involved. He's involved. In surprise cameos in the movie. Yeah, surprise cameos. I was expecting it. We also have Kamek, incredible Cranky Kong, Cranky Kong. Oh my God! And Spike. What the fuck? <laughs> Spike. I can share with you today about the you mean just the turtle with the this fucking Spike on it? between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been coming up Dude, with all Seth Rogen is fucking <laughs> Donkey Kong. Yo, he's gonna hype that shit up. I just imagine Seth Rogen in the studio just going, ooh, 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 just making the most dumbest noises possible. Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Chris Pratt as Mario. Dude, Mario is Star Lord. Disney owns everything. We'd like to show you this. Okay, that's kind of hype. That's pretty good. I like it. Hey, Splatoon 3. Ooh. It's like this scorpion turret thing. This Bakugan shit they got going. A crab turret. Crab mecha. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you get... You become a superhero. Was that squid? Was that Calamari? You know what? This law looks nice, but fuck it. Who are our new mascots? I don't care. Marie was awesome. Pearl was a little fucking gremlin. We needed to get her out of there. Who's the new ones? Why, why is the octopus fuzzy? Octarians. Why are they all fuzzy? Can't wait to find out more Splatoon lore, right? Hey! 
there's Callie and Mary. We need more splat fest. Never get rid of Callie and Mary. They are the red and blue of this fucking series, respectively. I don't know what they're gonna do with Pearl and Marina, but fucking. Ooh, that was cool. That was a nice title flash. Come on, show me the new show me the new idols. What the fuck? Hello. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. <laughs> the guy, this guy again. Remember when he started dabbing with the fucking uh the squidling guns or whatever the fuck? What you just saw when they did the, the uh, switch announcement? Oh god. Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of chaos. In the city of chaos, unleash your true squid. Don't give up to the side, to the squid side of darkness. Squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a. This is the most like kid-friendly game kept alive by adults, <laughs> right? I mean, like to be honest, that's what like Pokemon is, but like. Like, you fucking check the lore and it's like, all of humanity is dead. <laughs> Meanwhile, kids are like, I just gotta paint everything, right? And the adults are like, man, fuck that. What about these idols? Oh, that artwork is amazing. Okay. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It appears okay. Still a lot to uncover. So that artwork looks nice, but I only see Callie and Mary in like this new, this new character that, this new character that kind of just looks like the default Squidling girl, right? Inkling girl, right? He makes a three with his body. This guy. This fucking guy. Updates to come. They can't fire him. <laughs> See you next time. Every day they're at a fucking lunch break and he's like doing poses and shit. They're like, can you stop, man? I'm just trying to eat my fucking tuna sandwich. Splatoon 3 taking place in a new world. Yeah, but we didn't really see a new idol, a new like idol group, right? We didn't see Pearl or Marina. And like there's this new character that just kind of looks like the basic inkling with like a fucking we have to show you today. With like a Please take a look. You know, like a military uniform. All right. Last trailer hype. What? Is this SMT? No, it's not. What is this? I have no idea what this is. You can't stop him. The kaiju is too powerful. Who's the anime motherfucker that's gonna defeat this kaiju? It's not really a kaiju, is it? It's too short to be a kaiju, right? Oh god. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Don't tell me it's Bayonetta, I'll lose my mind. Hey, dude, we're getting a new Astral Chain. I was thinking about it, but I'm like, no, this looks too radical of a difference, right? Astral Chain, holy shit. What? Bayonetta 2? I'm confused. Oh my God. Bayonetta 3. 
Wait a minute, I'm confused, dog. What? <laughs> what? So I went, don't tell me it's Bayonetta, right? As I was saying that, I'm like, it could be Astral Chain. And then we see fucking Lappy the dog. And then fucking... <laughs> and then Bayonetta shows up anyways. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Fuck yeah. I called it though, it's Bayo. And she looks fucking fantastic. Dance it up, girl. Holy shit. Aw, oh, sweet ass back tattoos and shit. Bro. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. Bayo 1 design, amazing. Bayo 2 design, I loved it. Bayo 3, I am all about this. And they're going back to like... It seems like... It's so weird. It seems like pink and purple are going to be like the main colors. Well, I mean, purple's always been a main color, right? Purple's always been like a color she would use, but... Okay. Dude. The game looks a little rough around the edges, I won't lie, right? Holy shit, yeah. It looks a little rough around the edges, but, um, you know, they just need to polish it up. Featuring Dante from Devil May Cry series, please goddammit, please goddammit, please goddammit. Is that Jean? What you just saw was the latest trailer for Bayonetta 3. We announced this game in 2017, and we thank you for That could have been Jean, right? This game will launch next year. That could have been Jean. I don't imagine her using a sword, but it could have been Jean. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay, well, I can fucking shut the hell up now. Because I'm like, I don't think we'll see any big, big drops tonight. Right? Because it's so out of nowhere. You know? Hello All right. Welcome to Just gonna mute that. Right? Um, you know, it's... It's kind of out of nowhere. It's out of nowhere to have, like, a big drop now, especially since, like, Gamescom is over. Right? Um, but yeah, fucking... Kirby got announced. That's amazing. Kirby got announced. Oh, Kirby got announced along with a new fucking Bayonetta. Bayonetta 3. Where's that? Where is that fucking? I need to see the Twitch account of the person who's just like day 300 and something without fucking any Bayo news. Right? I just want to see that account pop off now. A lot of Bayo news. Holy shit. And this is after fucking Kamiya coming out. And I, I think it's Kamiya, right? Kamiya coming out going like, um, going like, guys, forget about Bayo 3. Just forget about it. It's not coming out anytime soon, <laughs> right? That fucking liar. Don't believe his lies, right? We have, uh, the announcement of the announcement for the new Smash character, which, I mean, I think it'll be a hype pick, right? No matter who it is, it'll be a hype pick. Well, I'm not, not no matter who it is, but it'll be a hype pick because this is, this is the last character, right? There's not going to be another season pass after this. Um, at least that's what Sakurai's saying. But, you know, he, he always says shit, and he still works on it later. But uh, I think he means it this time, right? Uh, fucking... And I'm not going to sit here and speculate about the character, because fucking... It, it, no matter who it is... No matter who it is, people will be disappointed, and people will be hyped, and some people just would not give two shits, right? But uh, Bayo 3 getting announced... Definitely fucking hype as all hell. She looks fucking fantastic. Oh my god. I was waiting to see what redesign we get for Bayo, right? Fucking. <laughs> she fucking puts a platinum symbol on his fucking. <laughs> on the back of his head. They spent. They threw me for a loop there. Because I was like, wait a minute. Astral Chain. I didn't want to say it out loud because I'm like, the monsters look way too different for it. But then Witch Time activates. <laughs> Here she comes looking hype as all hell oh my god she looks amazing 
the fucking twin tails that she has on her fucking, you know, oh, look at that. Her hair's her hair. Well, her hair's always been her dress, but now it's like has like this capey feeling to it, right? God, she looks fantastic. Oh my god. Bayo, I love you. Look at him. Look at that man lick his lips. He think he was slick with that. You saw that mean ass swallow he just did? <laughs> he said, Oh my god. I'm so thirsty out here. But yeah. There's that. Uh, the Little Word games, they are not, well, Little Word games, but you know what I mean, like uh, Final Fantasy Racing stuff. That's neat. It looks like it can be polished up a little bit more. Triangle Strategy was looking really fucking nice. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the fucking virtual console shit they're doing. I feel like, I feel like we're still not at a point where, I mean, it, it's cool that they're doing it. But I feel like we're not at a point where it's worth it. I need we need to see them throw the rest of those games out. Like at least have like two new games. Uh not new games, what you know. Have like two games release uh each month for it or something. You know? There's like a huge back catalog of N sixty four games. At the same time, I just really don't I don't I still don't see why they couldn't just have the virtual console. Right. I understand they want to have like a, you know, pay like a paid service. Right. But at the same time. At the same time, these games have been around so long that if someone doesn't want them pay, if someone doesn't want to support the paid service for this, they can just emulate it, which I mean, you know. It, it sucks, right? It, it sucks a little bit because you do want to have the company, you know give you more of this shit, make it accessible for everyone, right? It's a Nintendo game, we buy them, we buy the same games over and over again, right? How many times have we repursaged fucking Resident Evil 4 and goddamn fucking Majora's Mask and all this shit, <laughs> right? How many times have you bought Star Fox, you know? Star Fox 64, right? Like, I feel like I feel like they should have had this in the beginning and that this announcement should have been like a fucking a, some sort of like 3DS uh, fucking virtual console or DS virtual console or Game Boy Advance virtual console. Something else. I felt like the N64 stuff should have been here since day one since they have it. They had it on the Wii U. They had it on the Wii. They had it on fucking, you know. Well, they had on Wii and Wii U. They didn't have it on anything else, right? <laughs> you know? They ported some of the N64 games over to fucking GameCube, right? Like the Zelda collection on GameCube, which was a fucking masterpiece, by the way. Um, Yeah, but I still find it hard to, uh, you know, to pay for all this because the basic online subscription is $20 a year, right? And that's cool, but are you really going to pay $30 a year for, like, games that you already have easy access to like very easy access to you know like at least with like the um with the nintendo mini like you got Star Fox 2 right that game was never released they, they pulled it out of the nintendo vault right so it's kind of difficult it's kind of difficult to uh fully get behind this idea right and then uh what other fucking announcement i'm sorry like I should know all the announcements right off the top of my head, but you know, uh, we have the update for Animal Crossing. That's nice. Brewster's coming back. That's great. Loving him. It's amazing. So they're gonna talk about. They're gonna talk more about that. They opened up with Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter Rise looks great. Um, the fact that the expansion for that is coming out next year is a bit like. That's a long wait, you know, for the game that kind of needs the expansion now. But at the same time, it's quarantine and shit, right? So it's expected for things to take longer. But man, they should have had this in the back burner way before, right? Um, and yeah, fucking, I'm surprised they didn't talk about Arceus or anything like that, because uh, you know, they kind of need to reiterate that. <laughs> but I assume Pokemon Company is gonna lock that one down for them. Mario Party looks nice. It's kind of a weird release date for October 29th. They should have just pushed it over to November at this point. Or just, like, released it next week or something. I don't know. But I feel like October 29th is kind of a, uh, a weird, a weird place to, uh, do that. A weird place. A weird release slot for it. And, um, 
yeah, fucking. I really don't know what else to say right now. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if I had it all written down in front of me, I would have a lot of fucking opinions about this. But you know, we're just coming off the cusp of this. Later today, they have like that remaster coming out. Remaster, remaster slash re envision of a uh, re envision, <laughs> revision of uh, the classic game that I never knew existed. And then they have that card based RPG by Square Enix. Uh, the demo coming out later tonight for that so i'll take a quick look at that for myself not sure if i'll record it or not but you know it looks it looks interesting the music in that fucking trailer was beautiful as all hell and um yeah i don't really i don't think there's anything else i can really say right now <laughs> now off the top of my head just kind of information overload overload uh, can't speak information overload going on right now so yeah i don't know this was really great. This was a good direct. It made me hype. It made me smile. It made me enjoy being a game war for, you know, <laughs> for the foreseeable future. And can't wait to see uh, what else they got. Oh, yeah. They announced expansion for uh, Age of Calamity, right? Which I believe that game still runs like dog shit, <laughs> if I remember correctly. So before they release that expansion, maybe they can just fix the frame rate on that game. But, uh,. Yep, that's it. That's it for this video. So, thank you guys for watching. Right? Uh, in the description below is a link to my Twitch if you want to check me out. Right? For Halloween and stuff like that. We are currently playing uh, Psychonauts 2. Right? Getting to finish that game. And I have some, you know, other games I plan on playing for the future. So, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Once again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off my